Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Roland S1 Tweak Synth. Uh, this is the fourth in the series of the Area Compact devices. Uh, actually quite similar to the J6, but obviously it's much more feature-packed. Okay, so I'm going to try and explain how to make a sequence with this device. So give you a brief tour. Let's just zoom in a bit. There we go. So what have we here? We've got the waveform, so different options there. Wave, um, sawtooth, reverse sawtooth, triangle, square, random and noise. We can change the LFO modulation speed. We can alter the octave with this one up here, uh, change the LFO range as well. Uh, so we've got the oscillator section, we've got, you can tweak the oscillators, sub oscillator, add noise, we've got filter section, frequency, resonance, LFO and envelope, and the effects, delay and reverb, which do sound pretty good actually. So first things first, we have to choose a pattern. So you can select from one of 16 patterns, which all sound different. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of them today, so I'm just gonna choose one at random. So I'll pick 16, so we press pattern and the number. So we've got 16 selected. Press pattern to deselect. So I'll just give you a quick demo of what this sounds like. So. That's pretty good. So we can record in a number of ways. Uh, we can use the step sequencer, pressing that button there, or we can press play and record. You can use a metronome by pressing shift and record as well, if you want to get it just the timing just right. Uh, we can press shift and last to select the sequence length. You can have up to 64 steps. So but for simplicity, we'll just stick the 16 on this occasion. So we can just zoom out. Okay, so first things first, we have to clear out the existing pattern. Uh, so to do that, press Shift and 11. It's under the clear section. Clear notes, so we can clear all the notes by pressing Enter. Okay, so that's done now. So if we press Play, there should be nothing there. And there isn't. So I'm going to activate the arpeggio uh, for my sequence. So I'm going to press shift and eight and then switch it on by pressing, turning this dial here rather. And now it's on. So to listen to the arpeggiator, we press two keys together. So I'm going to begin recording my sequence. So press, I'm going to use the live uh, option rather than punching in the pattern sequence. I find it's much more intuitive and a lot easier for me personally. So press play and record. So I'm going to activate the metronome by pressing shift. And when I'm going to just punch in some keys, select some random notes like this. stop recording you just press the record button and that stops the recording so now we can have a listen to what we've recorded uh, we can start to tweak the sounds by using all these different uh, knobs here so I'll just quickly demo this so you can hear what it sounds like so off we go <laughs> Let's put a 
reverb and delay. it really so yeah that concludes this video thanks for watching cheers